Well, hello, my little caravan guards, and welcome back to Fallout 2, where we are partaking in a caravan, and I have been juggling inventory and screwing up dialogue options, and everything else that can go good is going good. We're going to go ahead and, first up, I think we'll take that gun back. And we will probably be ambushed once again by mutants. I wouldn't really be too surprised if we aren't. You see the remains of Brahman. It seems that our caravan leader has got us walking in circles. And finally he gets us going in the right direction. And I immediately get ambushed and hit for a large dose of radiation. Run for it! Pull them over here. This could be really ugly. If they all turn right there and do a hook maneuver right into Goris and Sulik before I can kite them over here in front of our caravan friends, we are in trouble. Nice. Wow. Critically hit for 52. What gun did he just pull out there? Did they... Did they loot... Did they loot plasma guns from that last fight? I swear they didn't have those before, so that tough alien was hit and killed. You're still alive, foolishly. We critically hit it for 48 points of damage. I gotta get a few shots in here. And I missed it. The shot sails wide off into the horizon wasn't even close. That super sledgehammer might have been the best choice I've made in the entire game. If only I could get him some better armor. Oh goody, he's using burst fire around my teammates. What could possibly go wrong? And that alien is still not dead. It's about time to run for it. That's right. Goris jumps on the alien's back, and I scream and run. Now, guys, you need to watch your line of fire when the aliens begin to converge on you. Hal was critically hit for no damage. He's got a lot of bad guys on him. A lot of bad jujus screwing on him right now. No, Sulik! Goris, help your tribal brother behind you. So he's got a pancore jackhammer, but he's not doing nearly enough damage. He's gonna die. Run for it, Hal! Yes. And Goris slaps that alien off of Sulik's back. I'm going to run here, and then my next turn, gonna start getting into this fight. Hopefully they'll distract those two aliens as they cut through them. Sue looks angry. He charges forward blindly in a rage and punches an alien in its face. No, Hal! You alien scum! Oh no. Wow. The hot plasma cuts that alien in half. It drops to the ground looking like an open can of cranberry sauce. Disgusting. So look, I really hope he runs for it. Nice. Goris pulls that one off of Sulik's back and throws it to the ground. So which one of these are wounded? Severely wounded? Wounded. Are you wounded and wounded? So you need to die. Go for the eyes. Critically hit for 44 points of damage. I'm gonna run up here. And there we go. So it slams into it twice with the super sledgehammer. And then gets tackled from behind again. No, Sulik. You're not born or made to tank this many aliens. And I get snuck up on. That was close. Just about hit my partner. Oh, 
Oh boy, what to do? Sulik had better run. Critically hit for one point of damage. Goris throws that one over his head. And slams it onto the ground. Okay. You're almost dead, so let's finish you off. There we go. We drop that one to the ground. I'm just going to ignore this one. Maybe. See, how wounded is this one? Severely wounded. Let's go for that. Eh, hit for five points of damage. Good, Suli is smart enough to use his stim packs. And even saves enough strength to knock the holy shit. That was... I don't even know how you knocked that out of something, but wow, that was a big hit. It actually left me speechless because it just set the record, I think. For the farthest away, he is not someone. And goody! I am... I don't know if that's mortally radiated. But I am severely radiated. Will you guys kill that over there? And it came back again. Goris rips that one in half and throws it over his head. The body lands behind him. So you're severely wounded. You're unhurt. You're wounded. I'm going to continue to focus on the one attacking Sulik, though. Go for the eyes again. Yes! It explodes like a rotten egg. And I need to heal up. As fun as it's been to ignore my health. Let's use that. Might as well use another one. And... I should have used this to begin with, but we're going to use some Radax. So I'm going to take a few more hits here. And Sulik brings the hammer down on that one, critically smashing it for 70 points of damage. It tumbles backwards. Okay. Looks like I am resisting its radiation now. So just a bit of advice if you fight these things. That one finally twitches one last time and then dies. Now, my friend, to do something about you. I think they've got that one in control over there. Under control. And... You're blind now, at least. That is awesome. I had faith, Sulik, that you would turn into an awesome compa companion someday. And then watch Sulik die right there. <laughs> Sulik is critically hit for 59 points of damage and slumps out of the fight. The alien sprang back off of the ground and hit him full in the chest. Goris enters rage mode as this alien is popped in half in front of me. How damaged are you? Almost dead. Okay. Oh, I need to reload. Well... This better kill you. Yes! As it goes down and tries to bite Sulik's throat, we raise our gun and shatter the beast. 5,200 experience points. The bad news is I'm heavily radiated. Um, where's my rat away? Does this stuff weigh anything? Probably not. Choose that. Lost 25. Lost 25. And I'm addicted. Oh, well. Lost 25... 25, this is ridiculous. Lost 5, there we go. Holy crap, I hate aliens. So, there you go. Use Radex, or end up having to use, like, 9 Radaway. Not a very good uh, trade-off, if you ask me. Where's Hal at? Rest in peace, Hal. You have a great gun. It is just highly unfortunate that I don't think I can carry it. Let's see, what if I drop all of that? No? I gotta try a few times here. What if... No, I need my magnum ammo. Don't get greedy here. I'm sure that this gun 
It's probably better, but... Okay, I guess I'll keep you. Pretty sure Sulik has an assault rifle, so there we go. Like that. And... Whatever. I don't need the ammo. Save it again, because so, I'm probably going to die up ahead, and I don't want to have to reloot that stuff. So what's our what's going to be the next encounter on this caravan? Hot damn, you were just fine. There's a thousand dollar bonus in it for you. That and two thousand makes your pay. Ready and better watch out tonight. Awesome. So we just made three thousand caps for that run. Not too bad. You're on your own, partner. Good traveling with you. And we have arrived in the town of Reading. We see a farmer from Reading. What are they doing? Breeding mole rats? This is interesting. We got four, five, and six. Hello, sir. We see a mine worker. What are you looking at? Been in Reading long? No? Not really. Just arrived, actually, with the caravan over there. One, two, three. Listen, buddy, do you have anything that I might be able to borrow? I'll bring it back. Hey, you there. See you at the corral. Otherwise, get out of here. Okay. Just, you know, I'm the dresser inspector. It's a new position, Sulik. Please move. It's just a new position in town, you know. It's volunteer, of course. Let's see. We s this man looks as though he lives here. I've been looking at you, too. Oh, yeah? Is that a threat? Another farmer? First time in Reading, huh? How you doing? Yep. Is it that obvious? Is it because I'm being so friendly? Is that out of place here? <laughs> Hello, sir. Hey, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. How you doing? And the Morning Star Mine. Mole Rat? Mole Rat Mambo? Is that what that says? Move it, you, before I lose my temper. Hello. Well, hello to you, too. You guys mind if I loot your lockers by chance? Just, um, I don't, I, I don't plan to use that jet. It's, it's, um, it's totally just for emergencies, guys. Um, eventually, also, my Rataway addiction will disappear. This is nice. Of course, I can't carry them. Probably weigh something like four pounds a piece. So. I could blow up a lot of people with that. Unfortunately, guys, there's nothing else that I really want to get rid of. I'm sure you're tired of hearing me click through this stuff. What if I dumped that? Can I take one of them? I can. Can I take that? No. Take this. I think that that's a good trade. Take my sword back then. Okay. I know a few people that might... Oh, goody. I know a few people that might actually get to taste of this dynamite. Wrench, you're going to be mine. Get rid of those. I actually would like to have those back. Get rid of you. Man, they're just so heavy. Forget it. Microfusion cells. They're incredibly rare to find, of course. And incredibly expensive when you do find them for purchase. But they are just too, too heavy for me, and I have no use for them. Hello there. My name's Dangerous Dan McGrew. I run the Morningstar Mine here. What can I do for you? Um, why do they call you Dangerous Dan McGrew? Because I'm nothing but the biggest, toughest, mine-crawling, golly wumpin', snake-eatin' buck in these here parts. Dangerous Dan McGrew? That's me, all right. Sounds like you're quite a guy. Well, I don't want to take any more of your valuable time. Um... Yeah, I'm not really sure I do want to take any more of his valuable time. What do you have for me? Nothing? Well, sir... If you have nothing for me, I'm going to take your jet. I hope you weren't saving that for later. And, um... Let's see. What's going on in town here lately? 
Well, one thing is for sure. I could sure use a new control chip for my excavation machine. My excavator machine. A new chip? What's that? I've got a big pre-war excavator all ready to run. But it's got a problem. No brains. Um... Let's see... Okay. What do you mean? It's control chip burnt out. And it's not like I can order a new one. But I know where one is. Be willing to pay a thousand for it. Oh yeah, and where is it? It's in the Great Wanamingo Mine, just west of town. Down inside the mine, there's a great big mining machine. You can hardly miss it. The chip's in that machine. You just need to yank it out and bring it to me. Okay, and if you need it so bad, how come you haven't gone to get it yourself? There's always a catch with you guys. Uh, plenty of reasons. Most of them hungry and nasty. Wanamingo mines just chock full of hungry Wanamingos. And what the hell is a Wanamingle? It's just the orneriest, nastiest, most vicious critter I think I've ever seen. It's got teeth, uh, four inches long. Oh, I mean 14 inches long. But I think you can handle it. You know what, you're right. I'm sure I can. Yeah, you do that. A thousand isn't chump change, pal. Um, you won't barter with me? You know what, I'll think it over. Heck, if I were you, I'd buy the deed to the place, clear it out, and sell it back to Mayor Escorty. He's the deed holder now. Thanks for the tip. I actually didn't know I could uh, buy that mine out. If we can find the mayor, well, we will try that. And what do we got going on in here? That ain't coming into my place. What? Do you mean Goris? Take your friend outside. We don't serve that kind here. Get out. So he either dislikes Goris or Sulik. Whatever. I should probably plant TNT on him. Slowly ridding the wasteland of bigotry one bundle of TNT at a time. Oh, goody. I did not know that that was going to bring me down here. I thought at most I might have to put a rope or something. A mutated pig rat. Nice. Just what I was hoping for. Sulik flattens that one with the super sledgehammer. He smashes it so hard that the sledgehammer actually bounces off the ground back up at him. There we go. Another pig rat dead. I don't really feel like being there just yet. Radweed mine. Or... Cocoa Weef Mine. Whoops. Cocoa Weef, huh? What are you looking at? Been in Redding long? No, not that long. So, is there actually anything in here? Knock, knock. If you're in the bathroom, get decent. I'm coming through. Nope. You guys got a foreman? Someone in charge I could talk to by chance? Probably not. I wonder if that's one of the mines that are having problems. Having problems. Okay. Any squatters home? Trying to get some information on the area. Paying in caps or booze. You get to choose. So let's see. We got the caravan office here. Have I actually been in here yet? I missed an important building in Gecko. I don't want to miss another important building somewhere else. Hello there. I'm James Hoffy, but usually people call me Jimmy. I organize the caravans around here. Oh yeah, mister, you have any relation to Jimmy Hoffa? <laughs> Are there any caravans ready to go out now? Where do the carrions from Reading usually go? We run caravans all over the frickin' place. Let me tell you, we've got gold ore going out to Vault City. We got some going out to New Reno. Ooh la la, if you know what I mean. And we've even got some going to those prissy bastards in the NCR. Why don't you tell me about Vault City? Vault City. Yeah, I'll tell you about those sons of bitches. Fucking bastards are too good for the rest of us. They only trade medicine to us because they need our gold. Otherwise, 
They'd just let us all rot. I wouldn't spend too much time there, kid. But if you want to see it, Ben Wade heads out from here on the 1st every month. Okay, and what about New Reno? Now that's a town. Just make sure you keep your wits about you and your gun handy. Lots of fighting going on there. If those families ever work together on something, then New Reno would really be a power to be reckoned with. The way it's going, though... You want to get there, join up with Savinelli. He leaves there, he leaves here on the 21st of each month. And what about NCR? The New California Republic is just full of self-righteous sons of bitches. They've got everything down their way all straightened out all right. A little too straight. They're as self-righteous a bunch as you could ever meet. Stanwell runs a caravan from here to the NCR on the 11th of each month. Sounds like he's pegged them, and possibly even me. So, what do you want, Pally? Got any news around town? Yeah, I hear that they got some newbie to go scrounging around the Wanamingo mine for an old part. Uh, yeah, well, I'm the newbie. You got a problem with that? Nope, no problem at all. You know that you're messing around with politics with that, don't you? What do you mean? Well, whichever mine owning you give the chip to is going to do real well with it. Well enough to put the other mine out of business. And? Well, if the mine you give the chip to happens to be the Coco Weef mine, then you're going to get a lot of those NCR pukes nosing around. If you give it to Dan McGrew over at Morningstar, then we're going to see a lot more jet in town instead. Either way, someone wins and someone loses. So obviously, since I'm combating Jet as a former addict under its influence, we are going to most likely go with Coco Weave. Well, if I didn't do it, someone else would. Won't you tell me some? Won't you tell me about something else? Um, any caravans ready to go out right now? That I don't know. You'd have to ask the caravan drivers. You can usually find a caravan here on the 1st, 11th, and 21st of each month. If they're not here on those days, then that means the caravan is on its way to arrive at Reading rather than leave it. Real neat and tidy that way. You see, this is the way it works. When a caravan's in town and looking for help, the caravan master has his tent set up here just south of my castle. Real neat and tidy that way, I guess so. And I'm guessing this is your castle? <sighs> what else is a man's home? Sheesh. Were you brought up in a tent or something? Actually, I was. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that explains things, then. A lot of things. <laughs> Let's see. There's nothing else I can ask you. Take it easy, Jimmy. I guess we're not going to get any work from you. You going to shoot me for checking your desk? I probably could have stole his five caps. But I'll leave him be. What about you, ma'am? What are you looking at? Nothing, I guess. Um, where do we want to go? I want to find the mayor's house. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy that mine. Chances are good that I've got enough caps for it. So let's see. Out of order. You see an out of order sign. This would lead down into one of the mines, probably. You might notice that there is some sludge around. Looks like an old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. No, stay out of that. Can you open this door? Yeah. Okay, I was hoping there might have been a chest or something around there. But there was not, so... That is the way out. So, let's see. I've been into the... Did I go into this building? Damn it. No, because that locker is closed. Howdy, stranger. Have any luck getting that excavator chip? If I had it, you'd be among the first to know. Oh, yeah. Gee, thanks. I'm getting all warm and cuddly feeling inside. What do you want? Just got some questions for you. What do you mind here? Well, hello there. I'm Marge. Marge LaBarge. And I run this mine. Okay, and what do you mind here? Gold, of course. We mine it right here at the Cocoa Reef, and then ship it to Vault City, New Reno, and the New California Republic. So, why do you call your mine the Cocoa Reef? Well, why not? Actually, I don't know where the name came from. I think it's always been called that, even before I got here. It's got kind of a 
romantic sound to it, don't it? Coco Weef. Yeah, I still like the way it sounds. I bet you do. Um, let's see, what do you mine here? Gold, of course. And do you send it all over the place? Sure do. Everyone likes gold. You should talk to the caravan master, James Hoffey, if you're real curious about it. I'm not that curious. Will you barter? No. Are you going to shoot me? Better save it here. Are you going to shoot me for trying to examine your house? Ooh, a survival book. I like that. Just inspecting your shelves and your your dressers, ma'am. We've had a gremlin infestation recently. And we've determined that those are the two most likely places that they're going to be hiding. Don't need any of that. Also, sometimes lockers and tables. And more TNT. Well, it's good to know that there's, of course, a bunch of explosives in a mining town. I shouldn't be surprised. Have to be real careful with that. And, oh my. Okay. Do I have a shovel on me? The question is, does Sulik have a shovel? What you be need? A shovel. I mean, look. Yes, he does. You know I have to, Sulik. Take this. How much does this weigh? Yikes. And you're down to three stem packs. Okay. I'm half tempted to take this armor back and just drop it somewhere. I'd have to give him too much stuff right now, though. Okay, so I guess I'll take this back. Take that. Cannot carry that much. I can carry that much. Have faith in me. I just need two pounds. Super stem pack, no, you'll waste it. I know you will. There we go. He'll use it when he doesn't need to. And actually, before I forget, I have to give him some stim packs. Or he will die on us. And I'm not quite ready for that yet. So, take six of them. I'm also going to give you some jet. Don't use it all in one place and try not to get addicted to it. Take that. Did I actually give the jet to Goris? Goris. Did I give you the stuff that I thought I gave you, or did I press escape? No, I did, okay. Also, actually, now that I think about it, since I'm going to be doing a bunch of looting, take this. Take it. Take... No, I'll keep that. The wrench, I'm going to forget where you are. And then I'm going to spend... A while, once we go back to Vault City, trying to re remember who has it. That should have cleared up 50 pounds for me. And, take two Psycho. I don't know if I traded that or not. I clicked it and then I pressed Escape, whatever. I gotta know, what is in these graves? I can't help but dig up graves. Okay, so that's what's inside this one. A ladder down. I was wondering where that ladder went whenever I was down there. I thought it might have came up inside that factory over there. Nothing in there. Let's see, the name and date on this headstone have been worn off by the weather. This headstone reads, Sir John Strange. Here lies an honest lawyer, and that is strange. Indeed. I should have read all the headstones in Golgotha, but I robbed you guys of that experience. The name on this headstone reads John Doe. No one knew who he was or where he came from. The name on this one, there's no markings at all. Just a simple rock over a mound of dirt. The name and date on this one have been worn off by the weather as well. This is a very old graveyard apparently. Maybe even before the war. Another blank one. And I'm gonna guess that there's no items here. I'm being punished. This name reads John Doe. At least somebody cared enough to bury his body. 
And that one reads John Doe, too. So why am I not surprised that they were all empty? We'll check this building, and then we're going to go down the ladder and kind of explore around a bit. Oh, goody. Out of order, there's an eggshell. Another eggshell. I don't like the look, the looks of that. Bet you I could also use a crowbar on those uh, lifts there, and maybe even get inside them. I'm not sure. So this goes to an. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna come right here. We still have some exploring to do whenever we come back before we go underground. This re leads to a new sector. So whenever we return. More redding, and did I just get radiated? It says the goo burns. No, I didn't. Okay, good.